that sometimes I think coaches do stuff they don't normally do just because Arizona plays so fast that maybe your, your defensive scheme is different than what you would normally do. We'll keep an eye on that with Utah Tech. Off a made bucket and made free throws. They've been able to set their defense. Chris is trying to break that up. Took a hit at shoot-around this afternoon. They must go hard at shoot-around. Larson working his way around that screen. Risa again. They're shooting sub 30 percent. That is erased by Basar. Well, there's there's a great example of Basar and his strength and how he needs to get stronger. Gets gets beat on the offensive board. Game. How tired of each other we are. Yeah. I have plenty of things I have beef with. So. All trap on standby. Well, second half threes for Frank Stain, who put 17 on USC in the top 12 contest last year. A rare late clock situation for Kresa. No problem. One out of two for Polk. This game's been a bit of a lull from Arizona's perspective. Yeah. Quite a stretch now. Do they have another burst to put away Utah Tech? That's what I was saying earlier. You got, you got to practice your habits and how you play. You can't play the score. Human nature makes it difficult to not play the score. Kreese knocks down the three. You get to practice until late October. You wouldn't know it. In a positive way. Tommy Lloyd will keep on the floor. Have been scored by their starting five. Yeah, right. All five of whom are in double figures. Didn't notice that either. And it's not like guys haven't been playing off the bench either. Jubelis finds Creaser. He's got 21 points for the third time in his career. Larson makes the extra pass. Six. 